Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're taking a look at a quick core cutting tip. These are videos we used to do in the past that we're bringing back. They're short videos that show you a cool feature of a particular device or a service that you may not have known about. Now, if this is one you knew about, hopefully the next video will help you out. And if you want more videos like this, or maybe our daily core cutting recaps and more, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know that you enjoy what we're doing here. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV and still enjoy the shows you watch. But today we're covering IMDb TV. This is the free ad supported service from Amazon that allows you to watch movies and TV shows 100% for free with ads. And it has an impressive catalog of content. Now, you probably remember this when it launched earlier this year as IMDb Free Dive. Now they call it IMDb TV. Same service, rebranded it to a new name. Honestly, I think it's a better name calling it IMDb TV versus IMDb Free Dive. It is available on a wide range of platforms, but you probably have heard most of it about it on the Fire TV. Now with the Fire TV, they have an app pre-installed on it, a big yellow icon that says IMDb Free Dive right here. Click on that, find a ton of content. The good news is you can find it on Roku, Apple TV, um, and Android TV inside the Amazon Prime Video app. So we're going to show you how to do that real quick, but this same method I'm about to show you will work on multiple devices, even though I'm demoing it here on my Roku TV. So what you need, first of all, is the Amazon Prime Video app. Now you do not need to be an Amazon Prime subscriber to use this, it will work. Uh, without being an Amazon Prime subscriber. I hate the fact that they call it Prime Video App, but it's Amazon and they're kind of putting everything under the Prime name. Now, when you launch it, it's a pretty standard user interface across most of the devices, some minor changes, but what I'm about to show you works on pretty much all of them. So what you start here is um, under Watch Next, you gotta go down about 20 rows. Just keep scrolling down past you know, recommended live things, movies to rent or buy, include Prime and more. If you just keep on going, eventually you will find a row at about 20, which will show you free, here we go, IMDb TV, free movies and TV shows. So right here is your row. Now the tough part about this is, again, you have to scroll down until you find it, which makes it kind of hidden, which I don't really like uh, how Amazon does that. But it's also just one big row. It doesn't break it out in movies and TV shows. Unless you know what you're looking for, it can be kind of hard to find. The good news is there are is a ton of content here. If, as you scroll through it, through it, you will find like uh, Fringe is in here, Warehouse 13, um, The Never Ending Story, Kitchen Nightmares, um, 17 again, Heroes, Zookeeper, Contact, Gilgan's Island. Blade Runner, so a lot of good quality movies and TV shows are included with this for free. Now, it is well, it did launch with a small catalog of content. Amazon has announced that they are rolling out a ton of additional um, uh, content with new movie partners out there. So over the next few months, you, you should see a growing number of movies and TV shows join IMDb um, free, IMDb TV, excuse me. It's gonna take a while for that. Now, they also announced if you're in Europe that IMDb TV will be expanding into Europe later this year. And I haven't heard anything about Canada though. I wasn't able to find if it's available in Canada or not. I know we have a lot of core cutter news viewers and readers there. If you are from Canada, let us know. Is IMDb free um, TV, excuse me, available in Canada? I'd love to hear from you. But I would definitely add this to your list of uh, free movies and TV services right along with the Roku channel, Pluto TV, Zumo TV, Crackle, Tubi, and more. Doesn't hurt. It's a good catalog of content. Some of the exclusive uh, content here is exclusive. Some of it you'll find in other places. But if you already have Amazon Prime video installed on your um, Roku, Apple TV, or Android TV, it's a great option. The good news here, if one of your Android TV devices doesn't have support for Amazon Prime, app, it will be coming this summer. So Amazon Prime Video has never had a dedicated full-blown Android TV app. They had struck deals with like Nvidia Shield and Sony TV and a few others to bring the Amazon Prime Video app to Android TV on those specific devices. Amazon has announced a deal with Google to bring it to all their devices now. So that's a great news there that you will be able to soon watch this on all Android TV devices sometime in the summer. So any day now it could be coming could be a month, maybe two months from now too. So I'd love to hear what you think of the um, this new service. If you used it, leave us a comment. 
If you're new here, again, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. If you're here all the time, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos like this, plus our daily core cutting um, updates and core cutting Q and A's every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Really appreciate your support. If you have a tip you would like me to share in a video like this, leave us a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. So check back for more core cutting news, tips, tricks, how-to guides, and more. Thanks for watching.